Murik to two Enugu universities, your exams are illegal. An Islamic human rights advocacy group, the Muslim Rights Concern, Murik, has declared examinations taken in two universities in Enugu on Tuesday, on Tuesday and Wednesday, 9th and 10th of March 2024, respectively illegal, null, and void. In a statement issued on Saturday, the 13th of April 2024, the group the group's executive director, Professor Ishak Akintola, described the examinations as illegal and unacceptable by any standards because they were taken on days declared as public holidays by the federal government. The group called for the cancellation of the examination and tests. A full statement reads, Reports reaching us from the Enugu, from the University of, Ni- of Nigeria Enugu Campus, UNEC, and the Federal University of Allied Health Sciences, Enugu revealed that both institutions ignored the holidays declared on Tuesday and Wednesday by the federal government's FG. While the former conducted examinations on Salah Day, the latter held two tests on that day. These are acts of insubordination and outright disobedience on the part of the vice chancellors of both institutions. We expect the Minister of Education to take up the matter with them. Failure to call them to order will only egg them further to act arrogantly against policies and decisions of FG in the future. It has never been heard that a university based in the Muslim-dominated North conducted an examination or test during the Christmas or Easter holiday. Some authorities in the South Easter out heralding Herod in the quest to persecute Muslims by all means. Islamophobia is becoming rampant in that zone, mm. but what is surprising is that in this time, it is coming from higher institutions where people are expected to be more liberal. Meanwhile, we are constrained to declare both examination and the test taken in both universities as illegal, illegitimate, unlawful, and unconstitutional. Mm. They are all travires, null and void. We call on the vice chancellors of those two institutions to ensure that no student, whether Muslim or Christian, who missed the examination or the test is sanctioned. Those events never happened. There was simply no examination. Neither was there any test because nothing of that nature is expected to happen during a properly declared holiday. At least there is ample evidence that the holidays were announced ahead of time and long enough for all members of the public to be fully aware. That examination and those two tests constitutes a void, a sham, a nullity, and anything built on nullity remains a nullity. That examination never took place in UNEC, and no tests were held in the Federal University of Allied Health Sciences, Enugu. Mm. That is the position of the law. No examination or test held in any school, polytechnic, or university on a public holiday can be recognized by the law. A public holiday is a holiday period for all, and sundry civil servants, teachers, lecturers, and students. The law does not recognize invigilators and candidates on public holidays. Murik advises the two vice chancellors mm. through the deans of erring faculties with the active participation of the two heads of departments to instruct the letters to cancel the ill-conceived bitterness loaded and luciferous examination and tests. They never took place. This mm. is the soft landing we can offer the erring lecturers department, and faculty. It is our fervent hope that nobody will make any attempt to massage egos because both of the heads of departments and the deans of the faculties where this abnormality occurred may have to explain the reason for the dereliction of duty. Damage control measures may be too late at that time. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified when we upload daily content here on this channel. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinions on this. Now, let us see what other people have to say about this. Go to court. We were attending class in Abu Zari on Sunday. 
in 1978, you would die of religious bigotry. Hypocrisy. If your cow fell into a ditch on Ramadan day, will you leave it after three days holiday? You fail to comment on non-Muslims not allowed to eat outside during fasting because their Muslim counterparts are fasting. It is enshrined in our constitution or is Kano state an independent state from Nigeria? You all fail to comment on Muslims, non-Muslims allowed to eat. For the first time, I agree with you. Take the matter to court and win your case. You will live so that fighting for your rights legally is better than terrorism. Oga Murik should go to court. He didn't see bandits celebrating the same Salah in Zamfara. He will not comment on that. Kintola will see this post. You are a slave to the Arab nations. You leave your original language and claim another infidel language. Nigeria has more serious issues to deal with. And you are talking about exams that have nothing to do with Stop. Stop. These people have all given their opinions on this. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to turn on notifications so you can be notified when we upload daily content here on this channel. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends so that they know what is going on and they can give their own opinions.